Hello everyone, you're tuning in to the second episode of Anime Spotlight, where we put the spotlight on shows that you may not have heard of, or shine the light a little brighter on shows that you're already familiar with. Today we'll be taking a look at a series that some consider a classic, but many people haven't heard of, The Twelve Kingdoms. Now sit back, relax, and enjoy the second episode of Anime Spotlight. Since there's a good chance that many of you haven't even heard of this series before and don't know what it's about, allow me to provide you with a quick synopsis. Yoko Nakajima is your average and somewhat timid high school student. One day, a strange man named Keiki appears before her and proceeds to swear his allegiance to her. Before she could properly register what was happening, demon-like creatures attacked Yoko and her friends. And while trying to escape, they are pulled into a different world, a world unlike what she has ever known. Separated from Keiki, Yoko and her friends must do whatever they can to survive in this new world. While there's a whole lot more to the series than that, I'd rather not spoil anything. And frankly, I'd recommend checking this series out for yourself if you're at all interested. Anyway, now that we're finished with that, let's rewind back to where this all began. The Twelve Kingdoms was adapted from a series of light novels written by Fuyumi Ono. She attended Kyoto University and was part of the university's Mystery Story Club, a club for readers and writers of the mystery genre. She made her publishing debut in 1988, and her story, Sleep Was On A Birthday Eve, was published by Kodansha and featured in their ex Teen Heart series. Before she began writing The Twelve Kingdoms, Fuyumi Ono wrote The Demonic Child in 1991. It's a horror novel about a boy who had been spirited away and then returned without any memories of what happened to him. Fuyumi Ono used several elements from The Demonic Child when she was writing The Twelve Kingdoms. She graduated from college with a degree in Buddhist studies, which could explain why The Twelve Kingdoms has been so heavily influenced by Chinese mythology, but had to drop out of graduate school because of financial issues. Feeling lost, and not quite sure what she wanted to do, she decided to try writing for a living when an editor who had read her previous work suggested it to her. Yoko Nakajima, the main character of the Twelve Kingdoms anime series and a minor character in the light novels, was inspired by the letters that Fuyumi Ono received from her young readers. She said that, many of my readers end up writing to me and they often share their personal problems. I was never able to write back to them, so instead I wrote Sea of Shadow. As for the events that befall Yoko, I feel that all people end up experiencing, to a greater or lesser extent, the kind of mental and emotional trauma that Yoko does as they grow and establish themselves in the world. I've experienced the same things in the past and was able to overcome them somehow. There's no set answer, but I just hope to arouse the feeling that you too have been like that sometime. In order to keep track of everything that was going on when she was writing the complex world of the Twelve Kingdoms, she kept a timeline of events and a dictionary of all of the terminology that is used in the series. The first volume of the Twelve Kingdoms light novel series, The Shadow of the Moon, The Sea of the Shadow, was published by Kodansha on June 20th, 1992, and volume 2 was published on July 9th, 1992. There are eight novels in the series, and the last one, The Birds of Hisho, is a collection of short stories that was published in 2013 by Shinshosha. Many fans of the series had given up on it ever being concluded, but on December 28, 2015, Fuyumi Ono stated on her Twitter that she's working on a new novel and that she's planning on releasing it in 2016. Shinchosha has reported that the novel's manuscript is over 1,000 pages long. The series was brought to the small screen by Studio Perot and was directed by Sunio Kobayashi and aired between April 9, 2002 and August 30, 2003, with a total of 45 episodes. The series was released in English by Anime Works, aka Media Blasters. The anime only covers the events from the first four novels and is primarily focused on Yoko as the protagonist. The anime was originally supposed to run for 68 episodes instead of 45. In 2004, John Cerebella, a representative from Media Blasters, stated that the reason for the anime being cut short was because the lead character designer was having health problems. Another possible reason is because the story was moving away from Yoko, who, as stated earlier, is the main character in the anime, but far from it in the novels. The theory is that the producers felt that they would lose their audience if Yoko wasn't the main character, since they'd run out of source material to pull her stories from. And another possible reason is that at the time of the anime's conclusion, they had caught up with the light novels and ran out of source material to work with. The Twelve Kingdoms has also been adapted into two video games, Juni Kokuki Guren no Shibuya Kujin no Michi, and Juni Kokuki Kaku Kaku Taru Odao Koryoko no Uka. Thank you guys for tuning into this episode of Anime Spotlight, and hope that you were able to learn something new about the Twelve Kingdoms and be at least mildly entertained. Please make sure to like the video if you liked it, and to subscribe if you have not already. Once again, I'd like to thank you guys for watching, and I'll talk to you all later.